For years, China has believed it was the world's number one manufacturing powerhouse. Faster, cheaper, bigger, and more efficient than anyone else on earth. And to be fair, for a long time, that belief wasn't wrong. China built cities overnight, factories by the thousands, and supply chains that never slept. But then Tesla showed up and completely changed what fast really means. Not 10% faster. Not even twice as fast. But so fast that it completely breaks every rule the global auto industry has followed for over a hundred years. Elon Musk has openly said that Tesla can now finish a car in under 30 seconds. Yes, under half a minute. That's not a typo. And this is all made possible by a machine so extreme, so aggressive, and so advanced that no other automaker on earth currently owns anything close to it. It's called Gigapress 2.0. A machine that doesn't just improve manufacturing, but totally rewrites it. Before we go any further, if you enjoy deep dives into the future of EVs, manufacturing, and next-generation technology, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. You're watching Future Drive Hub, and this story is about to get wild. Getting one car to roll off a production line every 30 seconds is something almost no automaker can even dream of. Even the most advanced factories in China still take close to two minutes to push out a single finished vehicle. That might sound fast, but compared to Tesla's pace, it's ancient history. China relies on massive scale. Hundreds of factories. Millions of workers. Assembly lines running nonstop, day and night. But that entire system is still built on an old school idea. Too many steps. Too many parts. Too many welds. Too many humans. And too many chances for mistakes. Tesla does the exact opposite. They remove people from the line. They eliminate hundreds of robots. They cut out thousands of welds. And the result is a production line so fast and so dangerous that humans aren't even allowed near it. This isn't about working harder. It's about working smarter, faster, and cleaner. And all of it comes from pushing Giga Casting to levels no one thought were possible. Now Tesla has introduced Gigapress 2.0, the wildest machine ever seen inside a car factory. This is not just a bigger version of the old one. It's completely different in design, power, and purpose. The way it works almost sounds fake. Elon Musk once compared it to making matchbox toy cars. Pour metal in, wait a few seconds, and out comes an entire car structure. And according to Musk, Gigapress 2.0 will be used for all upcoming Tesla models. The goal is simple. Move faster. Cut delays. And crush production bottlenecks before they even appear. So what is really happening inside this monster machine? How is it different from earlier versions? And just how insanely fast is it? The Gigapress is already one of the largest die-casting machines in the world. Right now, nothing else comes close to its efficiency in real automotive production. This machine is roughly the size of a two-story house and can produce massive EV components in just seconds. That's exactly why automakers around the world are lining up and spending millions just to get one. Recently, Volvo installed a 9,000-ton Gigapress in Slovakia to massively boost production efficiency. That alone tells you how serious this technology has become. But Tesla didn't just buy the machine. Tesla invented the idea. Tesla was the first company on earth to imagine using gigascale die casting for car bodies and they were the first to actually make it work in real production. That single decision kicked off a manufacturing revolution and caught every major automaker completely off guard. But Elon Musk didn't stop there. He kept upgrading the machine again and again. And now we've reached the next stage. Gigapress 2.0, a machine with an unbelievable 50,000 tons of clamping force. To put that into perspective, this machine is designed to cast the entire underbody of a vehicle in a single shot. One pour. One mold. One structure. So how effective is this thing really? And why do Tesla's future vehicles even need something this extreme? The answer leads us straight to the most anticipated Tesla ever made. The Tesla Model 2. The EV the entire world has been waiting for. According to Tesla, it could launch as soon as the middle of next year. 
And here's the part that shocked the industry. The expected price is around $29,990. Elon Musk has confirmed that Model 2 is expected to become the highest volume vehicle in Tesla's history. We're talking production numbers between 30 and 40 million units over its lifetime. That's more than the combined total of Model 3 and Model Y. When Musk first said this, most people laughed. Analysts called it impossible. Critics said it was just another Elon promise. But once Tesla revealed a brand new generation of Gigapress built specifically for next-generation vehicles, that skepticism started to disappear fast. Tesla is keeping the design of Model 2 extremely secret. But leaks suggest it will surprise almost everyone. This isn't going to be a boring cheap EV. Musk has hinted that Model 2's production speed will be far faster than Model Y, basically pushing the auto industry into an era of push-button manufacturing. Whether you've been following Tesla for months or for years, one thing is obvious. We've been hearing about an affordable Tesla for a long time. The plan has changed. It's been cancelled. It's been revived. Over and over again. But this time feels different. This time, Tesla and Elon Musk have confirmed it's really happening. Model 2 will be built on the same production line as Model 3 and Model Y. But here's the critical detail. Tesla is not using the old 6,000-ton gigapress from Model Y. They are moving to an entirely new generation of die-casting machines. More powerful. More ambitious. And far more disruptive. If you remember... The 6,000-ton Gigapress already helped Tesla cut Model Y production costs by up to 40%. Over 70 complex parts were replaced with just two massive aluminum castings combined with a structural battery pack. That alone reshaped how cars are built. Now Tesla wants to do it again. But bigger. Faster. And cheaper. And this is where things start getting really crazy. And this is where Tesla's real ambition becomes impossible to ignore. The design of Model 2 itself is built around this extreme manufacturing vision. The car is noticeably smaller than the Model 3, with very short front and rear overhangs. There is almost no wasted space. No long nose. No traditional bulky trunk area. This compact shape is not just about style. It's about manufacturing. It is nearly perfect for testing something the auto industry has never done before at scale. A single piece cast underbody. But here's the problem. The 6,000 ton gigapress used for Model Y simply isn't powerful enough to pull this off in one shot. It can handle the size, pressure, and precision required. And that's when Tesla reveals the real monster Gigapress 2.0. This next generation machine doesn't just cast bigger parts. According to Elon Musk himself, during an internal all hands meeting, this machine can potentially cast five complete underbody frames in a single cycle. Yes, five. One machine. One cycle. Multiple vehicle frames produced almost simultaneously. Musk casually mentioned it like it was no big deal. But if this is proven true at scale, it would instantly make Model 2 the fastest produced car in human history. To understand how insane this is, you need to grasp the raw power involved. Gigapress 2.0 delivers up to 50,000 tons of clamping force. That's about 8.5 times more powerful than the 6,200-ton Gigapress currently used for Model Y. This isn't just an upgrade. It completely redefines what automotive manufacturing even means. For a compact vehicle like Model 2, this technology is absolutely critical. With a single massive casting, Tesla can create the entire lower body structure without welding together dozens of separate parts. The result is a chassis that is lighter, stronger, stiffer, and far more consistent. Fewer parts mean fewer defects. Fewer steps mean fewer delays. And fewer welds mean fewer long-term durability issues. This is the hidden reason Tesla can realistically target a $29,990 price tag. It sounds crazy until you see the math behind the manufacturing. The savings don't come from cheap materials. They come from radical simplification. One of the most remarkable aspects of Gigapress 2.0 is its precision and efficiency. Older Gigapress machines produce one large casting per cycle. Gigapress 2.0, 
according to Tesla, can potentially produce up to five chassis frames in a single cycle. Elon Musk himself explained it in simple terms, saying that with a single casting machine, they could make multiple units at the same time. If this works at full scale, the production speed would blow past anything the automotive world has ever seen. But Gigapress 2.0 isn't just about speed. It's also about quality and control. The process starts with material preparation. Tesla uses a high-grade aluminum alloy specifically engineered for Giga casting. This alloy is melted at temperatures around 850 degrees Celsius in specialized furnaces. What's important here is that Tesla blends fresh aluminum with recycled aluminum from previous castings. This keeps costs down while maintaining extremely high material quality. Gigapress 2.0 uses two furnaces running in parallel. One furnace uses natural gas to reach extreme melting temperatures quickly. The other uses electric heating to maintain a stable and precise thermal environment. This dual furnace system reduces oxidation, improves material consistency, and ensures the molten aluminum is always at the perfect temperature when injected into the mold once the aluminum is ready, mold preparation begins. The molds used in Gigapress 2.0 are ultra-precision dyes built to withstand unbelievable pressure. Before each casting cycle, robots spray a thin layer of soybean-based oil onto the mold surfaces. This prevents the molten metal from sticking and protects the mold from damage. It also helps ensure smooth separation once the casting is complete. Next, a powerful vacuum system removes all remaining air from the mold. This step is critical. Trapped air can cause weak points or internal defects. By removing it, Tesla achieves cleaner, stronger castings every single time. Then comes the injection phase. The molten aluminum is transferred into an injection chamber, where a high-speed piston forces it into the mold in just milliseconds. The speed and pressure are extreme. That's why the clamping force matters so much. Without 50,000 tons of pressure holding the mold shut, it would crack instantly. After injection, the aluminum begins to solidify inside the mold. Uniform cooling is key here. Once the part has formed, it is removed from the mold at roughly 500 degrees Celsius and immediately quenched in a cold water bath. This rapid cooling process dramatically increases strength and stiffness while reducing internal stress. It also saves time and minimizes defects. After cooling, Every casting goes through X-ray inspection. This allows Tesla to detect internal flaws that would be invisible to the human eye. Only parts that meet Tesla's strict standards move forward. Another major advantage is material reuse. Any excess aluminum from the process is collected, melted down, and reused. Almost nothing is wasted. This lowers costs, reduces environmental impact, and keeps the entire system incredibly efficient. Once the cast components pass inspection, robots integrate them with other parts to form the full vehicle chassis. This assembly happens with extreme speed and precision. Traditional manufacturing steps like welding, machining, and alignment are either reduced or removed entirely. Fewer parts mean faster assembly, lower costs, and higher reliability. And that's why Model 2's production speed is expected to be dramatically faster than Model Y. Tesla is not just building a cheaper car. They are building a car that is easier to manufacture at massive scale. But here's the big mystery. What will Model 2 actually be like? Based on leaks and industry sources, Model 2 is expected to be a compact hatchback. This would be Tesla's first true hatchback and a major move into markets like Europe and China, where compact cars dominate. The exterior design is expected to be completely new. While it will still look like a Tesla, it won't resemble any current model. Tesla is expected to move away from the familiar horizontal light bar. Instead, Model 2 will feature sharper, more aggressive headlights and a bold new design language. It's meant to look modern, efficient, and unmistakably futuristic. Battery technology is another key factor. Model 2 is expected to use LFB batteries, which are cheaper, safer, and longer lasting than traditional lithium ion batteries. New generation LFB cells from CATL are rumored to offer higher energy density and ultra fast charging. 
Some reports suggest a range of up to 300 miles and charging from 5% to 80% in just 15 minutes, even in cold conditions. Inside, Model 2 will follow Tesla's minimalist approach. The central screen will be smaller, around 10.5 to 11 inches, instead of the 15-inch display found in premium models. Materials will be simpler. Cloth seats instead of synthetic leather. No panoramic roof. Fewer luxury features. But core Tesla tech like autopilot, cameras, and software updates will remain. Model 2 will be produced at Tesla's Fremont factory in California. This allows Tesla to use its most experienced production team and take advantage of domestic incentives. It also reduces supply chain risk and speeds up refinement. At around $30,000, Model 2 could become the most important EV Tesla has ever built. Gigapress 2.0 makes it possible. Faster production. Lower cost. Higher quality. If Tesla succeeds, this won't just be another car. It will be a manufacturing breakthrough that reshapes the entire industry. This is why the world is watching. And this is why the future of EVs may arrive much faster than anyone expected. Thanks for watching Future Drive Hub. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one.